up guys this is trigger 2295 and uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to export a, um, a picture or an image background whatever avatar uh, from an XCF or a GIMP file to another file format such as a JPG PNG BMP GIF um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that so all I gotta do is open up uh, whatever your project is. So I'll just open up a recent one. Uh, let's just open up. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is a background I made, or not a background, but uh, an ending video, like for the next video and the previous video for the gaming network. Um, yeah. So I hope you like that once you actually get it. Because I don't think you've been on Skype for quite some time now. But uh, that's besides the point. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to take this. Because as you can see, it's in a uh, XCF format file. And, uh, well, you can't really upload an XCF to YouTube for a background or an avatar or anything, really. So uh, all you got to do, it's really simple. Just go to File, Save As. And then it's going to pop up a little window here. There it is. All right, so you can see that it says the gaming network, any pick. That's already what the file is. That's why I'd actually put that name. If anything, it might have probably put something around, like, unknown or whatever, or unnamed pick or something like that, .xef, okay? And you can do this one of two ways to export it. You can just backspace, okay? Put .jpg or .png or whatever, you know? Or you can, oh, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Ah, I don't know where my mouse went. My mouse just like disappeared on me. There it is. Okay, I, I just tweaked out. Okay, uh, so you could do that. Uh, or you can go down here to this little plus sign, select file by file type by extension. All right, so you click that, and it brings down this whole entire list of possible extensions that you can actually export this as now you can uh just scroll up here oh, wait, no, oh never mind um you can scroll right here to where it says jpeg just click that and there you go it'll, it'll add that or you can add gif and it'll add that or you know whatever and then you can add it as a you save it as a photoshop and send it to somebody who has photoshop or png image you know etc all right so i'm just going to save it as a png or i'll just save it as a jpeg why not all right so where are we at jpeg 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 there it is all right and hit save now you know what? i'm going to put two because i already got a file named this okay so i'm gonna uh, two dot jpg and then hit save i just hit enter you could hit enter or save uh, you know, actually click save. And then let's wait for this other window to open. Yeah, sorry, it's taking a little bit long here. But, um. <sighs> yeah, again, uh, in that previous video, I was talking about trying to get better equipment. This is why <laughs> I'm running a single core processor and two gigs of RAM right now, so it's not really going that great. Uh, hard drive's decent though, but uh, other than that, no, it, it's not really, not really going that great. Okay, so there it is. All right, so then this window will pop up, and all you have to do is hit export. Okay, because JPEG plugin can't handle transparency. Blah blah. blah. It'll also pop up that for a PNG also. It'll give you flatten image or merged visible layers, I think it is. And then either way, you just hit export. And then right here, the quality window. Turn it all the way up to 100. The advanced settings, I never actually checked at that. Um, so, you know, I don't really know what, what happened. So, you know, I'm not really going to show you guys how to do that. Because, <laughs> uh, quite frankly, I don't know how to uh, know what that does yet. Which I should probably get used to it. Anyway, so then after that, just click save, and it'll save. So, uh, right here, um, he also wanted to know um, where, how to save it, okay? The guy who asked me to put up this tutorial. 
Um, yeah, if you, you want to know where to save it, right here, save in folder. I always save mine in pictures. Just click this little drop arrow right here. It'll drop down this little menu here of available places that you could save it. And, you know, save it on the main, like, user right here. Or save it on the desktop, the hard drive, um, pictures, documents. And these are just recent files I use to make speed arts quicker. All I have to do is open up another layer and just bada bing bada boom kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yes, I said bada bing bada boom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. So I hope this, uh, hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel. Um, and also subscribe to the Enigma Effects, which is my group's um, GFX shop. So subscribe there too um if you guys didn't watch the previous video about the winner of that uh, of the 50 subscribers intro giveaway um then i am going to inform you now that i'm going to have to stop doing free backgrounds um i know i'm sorry for those of you guys who you know really want a free background i mean you guys will be able to find other channels i'm sure but literally, I'm only going to be charging like $5 probably for a background. And I'll, I'll put prices up once I actually get a PayPal account. So that's it. Um, all the information about all that stuff is in my previous video. So make sure you watch that. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing another prize giveaway at 100 subscribers. So please, please, please help me get to 100 subscribers. I'm at 60 right now. I'm almost to 9,000, which is close to 10,000 <laughs> total views. So please help me get up there because I really want to get a partnership. Uh, excuse, excuse me. So uh, that's it. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, again, like, comment, favorite, uh, subscribe. And that's it. And I will see you in the next video, which I'm going to start on right now. It's going to be a speed art. All right. Later.